Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video for Patch Tuesday. Today is Patch Tuesday, January 10th, 2017. We are the second Tuesday of the month of January. Now, Microsoft likes to call this Security Tuesday, but it's kind of a mismatch of uh, updates. So um, if you're on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, you are getting updates today. This is very important to apply because they apply security updates. So on Windows 10, there's also a bonus of uh, feature bug fixes. So we'll check that out today. So of course, you go to your updates uh, as usual in the settings. When you're here in all settings, you click your updates and security, click check for updates. You should have, uh, of course, the Windows malicious uh, software removal tool for January show up. But you should have two distinct updates today. One is the cumulative update for Windows 10's version 1607, KB321-3986. You also have one for Flash Player. Once again, every month we have a Flash Player one at KB321-4628. And uh, this is the only critical one. This month is rather quiet in the security side because except for Flash Player, which is a critical one, critical meaning it could be already exploited by bad guys. Uh, the rest is important. So that means, you know, it's just uh, something that could happen, but it's not, you know, you're not uh, going to get attacked over the web with this unless, uh, you know, uh, it, 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 it would be, it need to be worse. Uh, what do we have in the important? So, of course, we did say about the flash security update. There's, of course, a update for Microsoft Edge, which is important, and it has to do with uh, elevation of privileges. So uh, it says that this flaw could allow an elevation of privilege if a user views a specially crafted web page using Microsoft Edge. The attacker would successfully exploit this uh, flaw and could gain elevated permissions on the namespace directory of a, a vulnerable system and gain elevated privilege. So this is one. The other um, flaw, the other important flaw, of course, if you have Microsoft Office, there's one for you, which is also remote code execution possibility. Uh, an attacker who successfully exploited the vulnerability could run arbitrary code in context of the current user. And so this uh, is with a specially crafted Microsoft Office file. Um, and finally, there's a security update for local security authority subsystem service, which is uh, actually what it would do is a denial of service flaw. And so an attacker could successfully exploit this flaw and cause a denial of service on the target system, LSASS system, which triggers an automatic reboot of the system. We've seen that in the past, viruses that do this and that actually create reboots of the computer all the time. So uh, this is uh, a possibility. Now in Windows 10 you also have some bug fixes and by the way if you want to see if the update has been done on Windows 10 go to Cortana and type Winver for Windows version and check it out. You should be at 14.393.693 now. This is the version we are at officially <coughs> for those and the regular Windows 10 uh, anniversary update. So on Windows 10, there's also a f a some fixes. Um, there's improved reliability of Groove Music playback in the background, uh, video playback and remote desktop. The uh, addressed issue where after successful fingerprint authentication on a device with the screen off, the screen does not turn back on. Fix an issue where only one input device works when you connect two similar input devices on the same machine. Uh, addressed issues where the app V connection group that allows users to have access to pieces of functionality were not des designated to access. Issue that prevents users from selecting multiple certificates through the UI. Addressed issue where request control function does not work with remote assistance. Addressed issue that prevents a smart card module from pairing with a contactless smart card reader. Addressed issue with license conversion of server core from evaluation version to a retail version. 
They address an issue that prevents users from opening Internet shortcuts or URL files with Internet Explorer when Enhanced Protected Mode is enabled. They fix an issue where it prevents users from logging on if a device has been away from the corporate network for a period of time. And finally, addressed additional issues with Microsoft Edge, clustering, Internet Explorer, Windows Update, input devices, facial recognition, logon, Hyper-V, PCI bus drivers, and Windows kernel. So lots of little bug fixes for Windows 10 in here, so you might want to uh, check it out. And uh, if you are still on an older build, which is uh, 10.586 or version 15.11, that means you're still not at the anniversary update, you also have an update that will bring you to 10.586.753. And so uh, you still have, of course, updates yet. And um, there's also an ad additional security issue uh, fix for uh, Microsoft Edge for you guys that is not fixed uh, for those that are not on the anniversary update. So that's pretty much what we have in our security bulletin today and our updates with bug fixes for Windows 10 and some security updates but nothing too bad except the Flash Player critical problem. So uh, that's today, January 10th. So if you uh, haven't done so, check out your updates as uh, security updates are applied today. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you enjoy your videos. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our system or our channel <laughs> and uh, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.